Have you ever wondered what happens if you take a soda bottle and pressurize it? Well, I have put a tire valve stem in the cap of a soda bottle and I am going to make it explode. And you don't just want to just hook it up to an air compressor and let it explode is pretty dangerous. So I've taken some precautions for safety. Uh, so at the end of that valve stem, I've taken the middle out so that once you let go, let it out, the air comes out. It doesn't hold the air in uh, so that you can let it out so you know it's safe to approach the bottle if it has not exploded. On the air chuck, also take out the middle of that and make it a locking air chuck so that you can be far away from it and a good length hose. This is stretchable. A gauge that tells you how, mu how many PSI you're putting into it to know what the danger level is. And um, a ball valve. Hook up the air hose to it. You apply the air pressure into it. You can see how much you're putting in and you can cut it off. And if you need to let it out, you just take the air hose off and open it back up and it lets the air back out to make it safe again if it has not already exploded. Those are my precautions that I have used. Now that you have seen my introduction, enjoy exploding bottles. You ready? Alright, All right, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we probably shouldn't do that too many times. Damn. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Where, now, now you gotta, gotta find, find the valve stem. Huh. It's not in here. It, it came out. <laughs> Alright, it has 50, almost. Everybody moves over. It's gonna hit that. 60? Just do it, honey. There you go. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. 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 O